G'day, this is Gary007 and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk about same faction battlegrounds in the Burning Crusade. So if you like this sort of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, uh, leave a like and comment below, that would be awesome. So this is an opinionated piece of content, so you're probably not going to agree with me. I am probably the one in few people that will talk about it in an honest opinion piece about same faction battlegrounds. I play as a horde, I love it, I like playing it it gets me into one minute queues 30 second queues instead of waiting for one hour queues now the real problem a lot of people on the opposite side of the fence have with it is alliance players and their main opposition to this is well that's what alliance had over the horde and now that's taken away faction balance is just going to go out the window it's done and dusted right you can see a lots of alliance players going to cross over to horde so they can get quick queue times get great racials so on and so forth you're going to hear this argument over and over again now that's not to say there isn't an element of truth in all of this however there's the other side of the coin that a lot of them forget alliance factions are going to die off and going to get worse and worse as we go into later stages of tbc and start heading into wrath of lich king faction balance isn't something that's going to be perfect and I think it's going to tip on the scales of the horde more and more as time goes on. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. I've seen this on private servers. So anybody that's seen, uh, played on a private server, now before you dismiss my argument on this, a lot of YouTubers won't talk about this. And a lot of them have played on private servers and they know what's happened on private servers. And basically what's happened is when there was faction imbalance, what happened was they decided to increase BG queue times to make them quicker. What they did was they filled the BGs so a horde could line up onto a BG and there would be uneven BGs until a minimum amount of people started joining. So basically what they did was um, you could line up to a BG say to do Eye of the Storm. You'd get 10 horde players instantly queue in and you might only get 3 alliance on the other side. And then there was a timer on that BG until it was going to get closed off if there wasn't enough alliance players. That's how they manage BGs on a lot of the private servers. Now, that's not a perfect system at all, and it's really hard for the Alliance players to get ahead of games like that, but a lot of Alliance players used to run pre-mades. So they would dominate a lot more BG games than you would think, because they had a small community of PvP over in the Alliance side that would predominantly run pre-mades, and they would used to smash the Horde to pieces pugs all the time. And the other thing they used to do with Alliance players to try and encourage people to play Alliance, they used to do reputation rewards, like triple the reputation rewards for Alliance players. They used to give discounts for mounts. They used to throw the book at the Alliance um, side and say, here's the sweetened deal. Have all of this if you want to play Alliance. Apart from giving them free mounts, that was basically what the incentive was to go and play Alliance. They used to throw all these incentives on a private server to get people to play Alliance. And guess what? No one did. It just continued to dwindle. The Alliance faction used to continue to dwindle. It used to go downhill. And eventually, this is what happens. Eventually, they just merged the factions so Alliance players could get into raids. That is all that matters at the end of the day. When it comes to factions, it comes down to your ability to raid. A lot of Alliance players like to raid. So that raiding ability, once that is not there, faction merging should happen. There's no actual real reason why factions can't be merged in a game like this. Because if one faction is struggling to find people to raid, finding tanks, finding healers, so on and so forth, there's actually no reason to say, well, there's not enough Alliance players on the server, we'll merge them with the Horde, and that way they can find tanks and healers a lot quicker. If you have same faction battlegrounds, then that sort of is, um, solves a lot of PvP issues as well for the Horde. I didn't choose to play the Horde because of a racial. I played Horde because I've always played Horde. I have friends that play Horde, and so on and so forth. And I bet you it's the same for Alliance players. The only reason you're playing Alliance is because you've always played Alliance. It's familiar to you. Um, you've built a community. You're in a raiding group. And you've got a community uh, within that raiding hub that you would play with on Discord and talk to people on Discord. That's where relationships are built on when it comes to choosing a faction, really. If you didn't have 
allegiances with players on a particular faction, whether they're dominant or not. If you didn't have any of those allegiances, then you would switch jump ship really quickly because you've got no ties to a faction because you, you're not in a guild and so on and so forth. So when it comes to that type of content, people generally choose a faction based on friends or a guild that they're wanting to join up with. That's the social aspect of the game. Now, factions don't really matter outside of that. They could merge them and it would be fine. I've seen it happen on private servers and it wasn't an issue really at the end of the day. World PvP is dead. PvP had to be resolved from the Horde because it was just awful. You would not be able to get your PvP gear if you had to wait hour at a time to get into a queue, to get into a game, to earn 180 honor. It was ridiculous. That's if you won, or you get 83 honor if, if you lost, something like that. Now, you can argue black and blue that this is going to destroy Alliance, but Alliance are already on a decline as a faction. Now, the other argument is, oh, won't you just re-roll Alliance? Re-rolling characters is a time investment. I, I don't really want to spend 100 hours re-rolling to another faction. And I bet you if the shoe was on the other foot, if it was a Alliance dominated faction on a particular server, and I asked the Alliance players, just re-roll Horde, you know, help us out. You're not going to do it, really. You're not going to, no one's in their sensible mind is going to throw that sort of time into um, re-rolling to an opposite faction to get a quality of life of being in a BG, a battleground, you know. When it came to World of Warcraft Classic, I never did a lot of BGs because the PvP system was awful. It was basically priests and warriors, and it was a very unhealthy system to try and keep your rating up. And all it was was Warsong Gulch day in and day out unless the weekends came around and you did the AB or AV or, um, yeah, that was about it. So it was an awful PvP experience, and it had a lot of pre mates in it, and it just made the game really, really bad. When I came to TBC and I came over... I wanted to raid and I wanted to do my BGs and because the BG queues were so long I was borderline ready to quit the game because there's just nothing for me to do. It was basically raid log. I love to PvP, I love to do BGs, I haven't hit the arena scene just yet, I'm sort of leaving that till season 2 until the gear's worth it but I enjoy PvP whether it's frustrating loss or exciting win. It doesn't matter. I like to PvP and I don't want to wait an hour to do so. So that's just my own experience with the game. Um, it's going to differ from for everybody. Some people feel like Battlegrounds aren't part of the game for themselves. So it doesn't really hurt them too much. But for someone like me that doesn't really like doing five man dungeons day in and day out. I like to do a raid. I like to do BGs. Squeeze out. I know spend two hours doing, you know, 10 BGs. Have a bit of fun grind out some honor, get a few pieces of gear, and oh, I'm happy. I'm not happy in the current state of classic Burning Crusade if they have one hour queues to get one game. It's just not great game mechanics. It's not a great game to be playing. I could be playing something else, you know. So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and a comment below. That would be awesome. All right then. Thanks. Bye.